Hello everybody, LEGO Sonic Fan 17 here, let's get right into the launch. Today we're going to be launching a mission to the hypothetical Planet 9, rumored to be lurking at the edge of our solar system. So, here we go, we're ascending through the clouds now, and I was like, what was that? But I just cut to the map screen, I, I, I'm not used to doing that, so, yeah, it just seemed weird right now. Uh, you might have noticed that I didn't go to the build screen when I first started this video. Well, that's because I didn't save this build. Well, I did save it, but like I modified. Th this is the very first flight of this particular rocket. And when this this actually landed on the planet, something happened that almost completely destroyed the mission. <laughs> so, yeah, I went back to the build and modified it. And then I was like, oh, wait, I forgot to record the uh, thing where I show the build before I actually launched the rocket. And I was like, oh, well, let's just, you know, start at the launch. Like, who's going to care anyway? So, yeah, th that, that's the story behind that. Uh, we've entered orbit and we've jettisoned the core stage. Unfortunately, I, I didn't add, like, retro thrusters or something or, like, separatrons or anything like that to deorbit it because, I don't know, I just forgot. <laughs> But thankfully, clear debris exists in Spaceflight Simulator, so I could do that. And guess what? It was a perfect transfer window to Planet 9. I don't know how. I didn't even, like, check the, you know, the window or anything. I was like, okay, you know what? Let's just launch this mission. And by, like, convenience, I guess, it, it, was, it was perfect. The Earth and Planet 9 were perfectly lined up, so I didn't have to, you know, time warp to the transfer window or anything like that. And yeah, we're making the uh, transfer burn to Planet 9. How, how would you abbreviate that? P-N... P-N-I? P-N-I, I think. Planet 9 insert... No, not insertion. Uh, Planet 9... Okay, you know what? You guys... You, what am I saying? Just do this in the comments, please. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, now I'm time warping my way up to Planet 9, and, uh, you might have also heard the music. Let's just hope YouTube doesn't, <laughs> you know, give me another copyright, uh, claim for this. I mean, YouTube is just, it's just the piano cover. It's not the real song, so... I'm good, right? <laughs> yeah, you can see me, uh, trying to get a close approach to the planet, and in the end, I actually intersect the atmosphere because... I, I have no heat damage on, and I just admitted I cheated for this mission. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, right there. I wanted the um, the transfer stage to crash into the moon. Not the moon. To, to crash into the planet, but it didn't do that. Because I was too far, and yeah, the, uh, the, the farther you are from a planet, the more sensitive the burn is. So, Yeah, if you didn't know that about Space Flight Simulator, which you probably already did, there we go. There's some information for you. Um, yeah, there's a there's a capsule with the rover. You probably already saw it. <laughs> and yeah, um, Planet Nine. Well, I just want to make this clear. This wasn't the original texture for Planet Nine. I had to change it because the original texture was. Um, yeah, I gave I gave this planet pack to somebody, and they and they actually they kind of got mad <laughs> because the texture was. Something, um, I don't know, I just... Okay, fine, the texture was a rickroll, okay? <laughs> I, and I had to change it because I was like, Oh, yeah, I can't rickroll my fans, like, twice in, like, two videos in a row, so... Yeah, the, the, I, I, orig I was originally planning to upload this video, like, yesterday or the day before, but I didn't have time. And I got the, the Sonic set, as you might have already seen. I have it fully built, by the way. So, yeah, I expect a video on that um, next week because I'm really excited to review it. Uh, yeah, you can kind of tell again that I have no heat damage on because it didn't destroy the fairings or anything else. Yeah, the um, it's very hard to tell the ground apart from the sky. Is that, Was that a proper sentence? I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, there goes the, um, the capsule or whatever you call it, the... Um, back shell I, I think that's what you call it the the back shell and right there I'm about to hit the surface and yeah right there 
and I try to move the the, the quote unquote sky crane away, and uh oh, something went a, a little wrong. But I mean, it just destroyed the docking port. It's not like it really matters. And then I just clear debris, turn on the wheels, and hit the ion engine, and there we go. There's the rover on the surface of Planet Nine. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And please share this video with anyone who plays this game. Uh, comment, leave a comment if you want, or I don't know what else. Subscribe to the channel if you like this video. Leave a like. Uh, turn on post notifications. And oh yeah, there, there, there's Planet Nine, by the way. It's uh, it's really hard to find. That I was like, hmm, what what should be the texture for it? Then I was like, oh, it should be like a really really dark planet. So like. It explains why it was very, very hard to find in the first place. So, yeah, I uh, that's that's the end of the video. I'm just driving around now to demonstrate what the rover looks like, and very bumpy terrain. You, again, you you can barely tell the difference between the terrain and the the sky. So, yeah, that that's the brightest object on Planet Nine right there. Anyway, for the third time now, the video's over. Um, all my social medias are in the description. I already, I already said what you need to say. And yeah, goodbye, everybody. Have a nice day or night or wherever you are in the world.